What is up guys, this is Jay here, j 81 and we're back with another product tech review. Today we got the LED projector. This is made by Top Vision, and this is supposed to be a home theater entertainment projector. It is nothing more than $90, which is under 100 bucks, so I don't expect it to be too great. However, for that price tag, we definitely want to take a look at it. Uh, source voltage on this is 110 to 240 volts. It has a rated frequency of 60 hertz, and it's made by Shenzhen Photoelectric Technology Company. So it just comes in this black box here, you can see. And so we're gonna do an unboxing first, and we're gonna show you what it looks like. We're gonna take a look at this guy. So all we're gonna do is pop open the lid here. And when we do that, we got some foam on top. And it just comes straight out like that. Nothing else in the box, so we're going to get rid of that guy. There's this little topper, this little foam topper, so we're going to get rid of that. And inside, you see here, we just have the plastic, and then there's a remote control, which is good. Always good to have a remote. Um, also, we got a cable here. It looks like HDMI. Hopefully, it's HDMI only. And then we got a power cable. We got a video cable. Well, this is audio video to a headphone jack for 3.5 millimeter. We got a little screw here with some glue on it, probably a mounting screw. And then we roll it over. We got some reading material on what to do. We got this plastic bag. We take that off and we got a little bit of plastic on top. It's got this glossy look up here. A couple different um, tabs here. Usually these are for focus, laser focus to get it in good. This doesn't have too much as far as peripherals go. It's got an IR that's going to be for your remote control. It's got a VGA port on there. And then it's got two USB A's. It's got an audio video. It's got a headphone jack. It has an SD card slot, which is a little surprising. And then an HDMI. On top we have our buttons. And then we have the little cap here that we can pop off. And that's our lens. So we're gonna keep that on there for now until we're ready for this. There's also a little infrared um, lens right here on the front. So you got one on the front and you got one on the back. So that's good. And not too bad as far as peripherals go. That's pretty good. Uh, never, never going to use VGA because that's an analog signal. And that's going to give us a really crappy, crappy picture. So we're going to stick with HDMI. If it had DisplayPort, we would use that because it's even better. But right now we're stuck with HDMI. The SD card slot is good if you're looking at photos and things like that. So that's just a neat little feature. This is a five volt out and this says just USB. So this is going to be for something like a fire stick where you would need a five volt out source as well. And with this application, um, since we do have the power supply here that plugs into the side here. So we have the power supply that plugs directly into the side, we shouldn't have to worry about that. I just want to double check and make sure this is HDMI to HDMI, and it is. Sometimes they give you those mini HDI, HDMI ports, which I dislike. Um, there is not much for mounting. There is one um, little screw hole here that you could use for maybe a tripod assembly, and then there's just beats. Um, there's nothing else on the back or the sides that I could see that you would use for mounting on this uh, device whatsoever. The remote control comes in a bag, nothing too fancy. Uh, it does have a mute button, volume rockers. It's got a back button on it right here, a menu button, and then it's got an okay button with a little wheel. Um, not too bad as far as the buttons go. It feels a little cheap. Does it even come with batteries? No, it does not, and it takes two AAAs. So we're gonna have to get some batteries for that. But <clears throat> the good side note is, that it does have all these buttons on top if you need to use the buttons instead of the remote. So that's good. So we're gonna get this thing set up. We're gonna shoot it up against the wall because we do not have a projector screen. We're gonna shoot it up against a nice blank wall and let you guys see what it looks like. So we have the MacBook, okay? We got it hooked up to an HDMI because we tried uh, the USB-C to the tablet and it was not liking that whatsoever. So if you're going to be an Apple person that wants to hook it up this way, it starts 
it does a pretty good job it starts and then that's the end of it so what we have is we have it hooked up to the mac and then we got it hooked up through hdmi we click on the source so if you click on this button here it'll let you select your source so we've done that and then at this point you can go ahead and um change it over to hdmi it has the option it has the option inside of there as you can see to hook this up to a tablet or to a phone but it does not like apple apple does not like it one or the other it was just a little bit difficult so we went this route just so you guys can see what's going on we also put it on a little tripod here um, i did have to prop it up against something because the the projector is so heavy that it will just topple over so that's that uh, that little screw that you guys saw originally that we took out of the box it's not much of a anything other than a little support that can help prop it up in the front and it screws in right here at this uh, port where the tripod screwed into the good part is is that a tripod does a pretty good job so i'm going to show you this before my mac uh, dies i'm going to show you what it take uh looks like and then we're going to go from there so let's take a look at the video here so this is what it looks like on the wall and that's with the lights on and then there's the light off yes, so looks. we can see here okay. it looks a lot better um, with the lights off we did have to play with the focus a little bit and then you can adjust the height and the length of it and uh, you can hear some of the audio too but that's gonna come from the Mac there is a port to plug in speakers but you can see it looks pretty good. I mean, it is not terrible. And I did increase the uh, the resolution here, so it's in 4K. And it's running uh, the highest resolution possible on this video. This is a YouTube video. But uh, it looks pretty good, guys. It's not bad. I, would, I think I would actually use this. And you can adjust the uh, the tilt, and you can adjust the focus. So if we, if we were to mess with that, that's the focus which is the bigger button on it so the further away you are the bigger the focus is going to be and then uh that's the tilt so you can actually tilt the picture like this you can tilt it towards you or away from you to make it more less flat on the wall and so it does have a pretty good job i'm going to turn the volume down on that so you can hear me a little better but it does a pretty good job especially in low light situations which most projectors are uh, they do operate that way. If I had a projection screen, it would probably look even a little bit better than it does right here. But overall, I think it's a good enough um, picture to use this thing. It puts out some heat. Um, if you look at the port right here on the side, uh, that's a fan. There's a heavy, heavy duty fan blowing some hot air out there. Get a little bit closer so you can see. And it does displace heat pretty good. I don't know how it's going to be long term. Um, the lens is pretty good. It's big. It's bright. And it does the job. So if you guys want a cheap budget projector, that's the display that you're going to get with this thing. And I definitely think it's worth it for the price. I mean, this thing's less than $100. So awesome. Overall, guys, I think you should uh, definitely give it a look. If you like this video, make sure you mash the like button, uh, hit subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Later, guys.